Early voting now underway across North Carolina. If you want to make your voice count in some local vital elections, this is the time. But there are some important things you'll want to know before you head to the polls. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre live now outside one of the polling sites. And Jess, what do voters need to know? Hey, Jane. Yes, that's right. Early voting is underway. I'm here at Hal Marshall. This is the only spot you can vote early right now, but starting next Thursday, 18 more sites will open up. Now, keep in mind during early voting, you can vote at any one of those early voting sites, but on election day, you must go to your assigned poll location. Now, whenever you go out to vote, another thing you'll need to keep in mind is to bring your ID. The local municipal races are very important because it helped shape the form of, uh, and develop the your area that you live in. Early voting is underway in Mecklenburg County for the general election. Voters will decide the next mayors, city and town council members, school board members and vote on some bond referendums. Voters say they have several issues they are passionate about and that is why it is important for them to make their voice count locally. Here in Charlotte here, housing has become a very important issue here, having affordable housing. And you're seeing that uh, when developers are involved here, the housing prices have been increasing and going up. And it's come pretty much an un unlivable situation for a lot of people. Housing, public safety, but also accountability for you know public safety officials. We've got to make sure that you know people here in Charlotte feel safe walking around, not just, you know, crime wise, but also making sure we feel safe being with public officials and public safety officials. In North Carolina, you will now be asked to show a photo ID when voting. That includes a driver's license, student ID or veteran card. If you don't have a photo ID, you can vote using a provisional ballot. My board will take a look at that, make sure it's complete, make sure you signed it and everything. And if there's no reason to believe that it's false, they ex have to accept it and it has to be a unanimous decision to deny it. The ID requirement also goes for those voting by mail. Keep in mind, uh, absentee by mail also requires a photocopy of your, of your photo ID for us to, to go ahead and process. Same way though, if you don't have a, a photocopy of your ID, you can complete the reasonable impediment process and we'll, we will count your ballot at that point in time too. The last day to request an absentee ballot is October 31st. That ballot must be postmarked no later than Election Day if mailed in or handed to the election office by 5 p.m. Election Day. William Mitchell voted early Thursday and his advice to those hitting the polls is to do your homework and go in informed. A lot of the candidates have uh, their own individual website set up. Go there and do a little research and so you'll be able to understand and know exactly who you're voting for and feel good about your vote. Now, for those who don't vote early, just a reminder, Election Day is Tuesday, November 7th. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. Jesse, thank you for that live report. Text the word election to 704-329-3600 to get all the early voting information you need. That includes locations, photo ID details, and what's on the ballot.